Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Viegas. I hope everyone's doing well. This week's lesson is going to be on underhand rolling. Okay, so I set up a couple of things. I set up an activity that's going to be easy and I set up an activity that's going to be more challenging. So this is going to be more of a bowling activity and this is going to be like a ski ball activity. Okay, as you can see, all I have over here toilet paper rolls. Save your toilet paper rolls and you can use them as bowling pins. And you can set these up however you want. If you want to make a little pyramid, you can make a pyramid with these. However you want to set it up, that's fine. Okay, I just set it up this way for today. Over here is the ski ball activity, the more challenging activity for rolling. So all it is is a collection of, you know, if you have baskets, boxes, um, plastic containers, ask permission from your parents first before you go collect and gather things that you're recycling. Ask them if it's okay to take things. Please just don't take the things and use them. Ask first. And make sure everything is safe that you're using, okay? And for balls, of course, socks. Socks are the popular item here. Okay, roll them up into a ball and ask again permission to use tin foil. You can make these into a ball, all right? So for rolling a ball or a sock ball or tin foil, it's the same technique, okay? It's the same step-by-step -step process. A couple weeks ago, we did the underhand toss and it's kind of like similar cues to the underhand toss. The only difference is you have to get your body low to the ground and you want the ball to be rolling without doing any bouncing. It's a little windy out here, so things are gonna be flying around. Um, this is probably better done in the house, but I thought we were as nice outside, I'd be outside. So let me just move this out of my way so I don't trip over it, okay? And to practice your rolling skills, do it without any targets. Forget the targets, just practice rolling first. So let me get these out of the way, okay? And like the underhand toss, there's three cues you can self-talk and use, okay? It's swing, step with the opposite foot, get low to the ground, and roll the ball forward. When you're rolling, you want the ball not to have bounces on the ground or floor, okay? So again, practice. If you don't know what the opposite side of your body is, here's my rolling arm, it's my right arm, okay? This side is the opposite that has no ball in its hand, so take this hand and pat your leg. Wake up, leg, okay? That's the opposite leg. So I'm gonna tell my leg to wake up. I'm gonna swing, wake up, leg, step, and roll. So you wanna practice the roll first, okay? Right hand is my strong hand. The other hand has nothing in it, wake up the leg. Swing, hello leg, wake up, and roll, all right? And once you practice a few times and you feel comfortable, then what you can do is you can set up a target, all right? And let me just say before I set up the target is the easier version of rolling a ball is Take your two hands and use two hands if you need to. Open up your legs, get down to the floor, and give it a roll of two hands. That's the easier version, okay? All right, so let's see if these will stay up in the wind. Okay, so I've set up a target. And you're not always gonna hit the target, so don't be upset if you don't hit the target. Learning takes time, right? Practice makes progress. So don't worry about it, it takes time. They go my little pins. set them up however you want. Whatever's easier, make it your own. Okay, so I'm gonna use my cue words, my self-talk. <laughs> Swing, wake up leg, and roll. I'm using my left hand so you can see this side how my arm swings. Okay, my left arm, wake up leg, my right leg. Swing, step, and roll. And look at I'm not getting the targets, I need to practice. Practice makes progress. Swing, hello leg. Oh, okay, see what happens when I practice? I got them down. And you two, after some time of practice, will hit the targets too, okay? So this is, if you wanna just do bowling, this is probably the easier version. And again, if you feel that two hands is easier for you to roll with, then use the two hands and get closer to your target. Easier version, two hands, get close to your target. Open your feet apart, two hand rolls, okay? So that's the easier version. So the more challenging version is moving on to a skee-ball game, okay? 
So again, boxes and baskets. You need one box alone and a piece of cardboard to make a ramp. Okay, so here's my ramp. And the whole idea is to roll the ball up the ramp and see how many points I can score. And you can just take pieces of paper if you want. You can use the box flap. Whatever is easier for you, whatever you can find in your house. Again, get permission first. And if you need some help, ask someone at home to help you, okay? All right, so here I go. I'll do my left hand so you can see my left hand swinging back. My left hand is what I'm going to use. My right leg is the foot that steps forward, opposite leg. Swing, back leg, step, and roll. Okay? And try to get as close to the floor as you can. Swing, step, and roll. Almost. Swing, step, and roll. Oh, so let's see what I got. I got two points. Yay, for Miss Vegas. Woohoo! Two points, two points. Okay, I'm proud of myself because I'm practicing. Okay. So again, more challenging activity for rolling a ball would be the ski ball. The easiest version of rolling for at a target would be the bowling with the um, the toilet paper rolls. Easier version, two hand roll. More challenging version, swing, step, and roll. All right, and that's our activity for this week. That's a lesson for underhand rolling. I hope you enjoyed it. You know, gather your family together. Have a game of it. Take turns so you can score the most points. You know, just um, make up a game. The game goes to 15 points, or the game goes to 20 points. Whoever reaches that wins the game, okay? So you're gonna, you may need help adding up the points. I'm sure someone in your household would help you out. So I hope you enjoyed the activity. Uh, all the videos that we have for Phys Ed are videos that you can go back to and you can review and you can practice. They're not just for, you know, once that week. They're for videos for you to keep. It's like a PE library now. You can go back and practice as many times as you want, pick up your favorite activities and do them. Again, pictures and videos on Facebook of Class Dojo. I love seeing the hard work that you are showing me. Until the next time, my friends, virtual hug. See you next time.